Howdy partners, long time no see. Today I prepared a quick video for those brave souls who want to upgrade their Almond Max 16 with a new memory and SSD. Because stock configuration is fine if you enjoy fine. Seriously, it's not enough. I went with a Kingston Fury memory and a Samsung SSD and honestly, in my opinion, that's one of the best combos you can put in this laptop. So let's start from the beginning. First, unscrew the back panel. And then using bank card or plastic tool, whatever you have, gently pop the cover off. You know, it feels like you're breaking something, that's normal. Once the cover is off, you'll see the internal hardware. Everything is labeled, so you won't need to guess. Very important thing, just make sure you disconnected the battery cable. Seriously, this is not the step to skip and stay optimistic. Now remove the memory from the motherboard it's very easy. Behind the memory area you will see the thermal pads. Leave them in place. Don't touch them. Just leave it there and install the memory into the slots. You will hear a satisfying click after installation. Next, unscrew the metal cover over a SSD slot. Install the SSD and put the metal plate back with a the thermal pad. Work slowly, precision beats confidence here. And here is the only real downside of this laptop. The second SSD slot is hidden behind the cooling system. So technically it exists. Practically, you're not touching it. That's why I recommend installing a large primary SSD from the start. After that, reconnect the battery and put the back cover back on. You'll hear soft clicks. That's what you want. Now screw everything back. Hardware part is done. When you turn the laptop on the first time, don't panic if you see a black screen for a while. That's totally normal. The laptop just needs some time to register the new hardware. Once it boots, check everything. Use Samsung Magician to check the SSD and CPU Z to check memory timings and make sure that everything is good. I also recommend updating the BIOS before doing any of this. Then go to Disk Management Tool, find your new drive, create a new simple volume, click Next. Choose a driver letter, give it a name, something clean and simple. You'll see a new volume, everything is ready. By the way, I'll put the links down below this video on memory and storage. You can find them on Amazon and check the pricing by yourself. Now you can enjoy your upgraded laptop 